Welcome to week one of our novice classes. We'll be bringing you weekly novice classes that you can perform at home, in the garden or the living room. This week, our subject is rolling. We're going to start each session with a warm-up game, followed by some conditioning, some physical preparation exercises, and then we'll go on to the main part of the session. Like I said, this week is rolling. So we're going to start with a warm-up game, which is, has been invented by Gemma. It's the Gemma game. Okay, so you need to find yourself two um, household items. We've got some beans and some hot chocolate. And what you're going to do uh, is run around the items when I say. When I say grab it, you're going to try and grab the hot chocolate or the beans quicker than the other person. Whoever gets it the fastest gets a point. At the end, we'll see who's the winner. And you can write in and tell us how many points you got. So, first of all, running. Off you go. Grab it. Oh, James, one point. Okay. This time, we're going to jump. Off you go. Grab it. Oh, James, two points. Got to be quicker, Gemma. Okay, side steps. Off you go. Grab it. Ah, oh, Gemma, well done. That's two to James, one to Gemma. Okay, this time we're going to hop on one leg. Keep going. Change legs. Grab it. Oh, three points to James. One to Gemma. Okay, this time we are going to run with really high knees. So try and get your knees up to your tummy. Even higher, James. Even higher. That's it. And kick your bum. And hopscotch. <laughs> Nearly tricked you. Jumping. Spin around. Grab it. Oh, James again. 4 1. Okay. Uh, we'll do one final round. This time, we're going to move around uh, like a monkey. So, on our hands and our feet, make sure you've got enough room to do this. Otherwise, just run again. Off you go. Grab it. Five points to James and one to Gemma. So I think Je James is the winner on that one. So moving on now, we're going to start with a little bit of strength stuff today. So our physical preparation uh, for our core. So that's our tummy and our back. So we're going to start in a pike shape. Uh, we're going to lift our legs up and change our shape into a dish. So easy version, hands in front, hard version, arms up. I'm going to hold it for 15 seconds, you choose. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, and relax. And then we're going to lie on our tummies now. So we're doing the opposite. We're not going to do a dish, we're going to do a arch. Arch, well done. So I'd like heels squeezed together, so your feet squeezed together and your arms hide in your ears. And you're going to lift as high as you can for 15 seconds. Off you go. One, two, hide your ears, Gemma. Three, four, five. Arms in, James, if you can. Good. Six, seven, eight. Legs together. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. And relax. Well done. Okay, back onto your bottoms again. So we go back to our pike shape. So we'd like to have our toes pointed, uh, arms out in front. If you can show me your dish shape again, that would be good. So from our dish this time, we're gonna make ourselves into a ball, into a tuck shape. And then we're gonna go back out to dish. And we're going to try and do that without touching our feet on the floor. 10 times, you ready? One, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And hold the dish. Five, four, three, toes pointed, two, one. And relax, well done. Okay, moving on to our tummy again. So we go back to our arch 
position. And this is going to make our back nice and strong. Uh, so what we're going to do, we're going to lift up into an arch shape and lower down as quietly as we can. Okay, we're going to do it 10 times. You ready? One, two, three. Try and do it a little bit quieter. Four, five. Seven, arms nice and squeezed. Eight, nine, legs together. Ten, and hold it. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. And relax, well done. Try to do that as quietly as you can, because that means your muscles are gonna get stronger. Moving on now, you're going to try and find a chair or a sofa. You're going to put your knees on the sofa and your hands on the floor. So hands on the floor first, knees up onto the sofa and we're going to do a long handstand so we need to walk our hands as far away from the sofa as we can try and keep our bottom uh pushing up towards the ceiling and your belly button sucked in we're going to hold it for 30 seconds one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve bit longer 13, 14, 15, come on Gemma, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, a little bit higher James, 26, 27, that's it, 28, 29, 30, well done, give your wrists a shake, that was hard work. Okay, I'm going to move on now to our competition, so... Each week we do a competition. We're gonna see who can win out of Gemma and James, see if you can beat them. So today's competition is a back support on our elbows. So sitting in your pike, you're gonna uh, sit up James, you're gonna rest your elbows on the floor like you're lying on the beach. And what you've got to do is lift your tummy up as high as you can. If that's a bit tricky for you, uh, then you can do it on your hands instead of, like Gemma's gonna show us now, uh, instead of on your elbow. So back support with our belly up as high as we can. So whoever does it for the longest will be the winner. Ready? Steady? Go. So try and lift your hips as high as you can. Look, looking at your feet. Try and keep your legs straight, James. We want to have our eyes looking at our toes and our belly so high that we almost can't see our toes. Okay, the higher the better. Keep going guys, you're doing really well. Oh, James is down. Gemma's the winner. Well done, Gemma. So today we're going to do some rolling. So that's forward rolls. Um, and then maybe moving on towards a handstand forward roll. So starting from our pike shape again, make sure you've got enough room that you're not going to kick anything or hit anybody or knock over your little baby brother or sister. We're gonna start with the dish rock. So we're gonna rock backwards and then sit all the way back up again. We've got to try and do that without using our hands to get up, that's it. And again, backwards and forwards. Good, see if you can get your legs all the way up to the ceiling. All the way up and back down again. Fantastic. Okay, if you can do that, let's make it a little bit harder. So rock backwards this time, but we're gonna stop in a shoulder stand. So you're gonna rock backwards. H hands can go underneath your back or like James, you can keep your arms up, but you need to have nice straight legs. I'm gonna balance for five, four, three, two, one, and then come back to our pike shape. When you do your shoulder stand, we don't want our bottom on the floor, so try and lift your bottom as high up in the air as you can. So we'll do that again. Rock backwards. Lift your legs up nice and high and balance. Five, four, three, two, one. Fantastic. Okay, one more time. Rock backwards. Five, four, three, two, one. Well done. Can you make yourself into a tuck shape? Okay, 
So moving on now, we've practiced rocking. Now we're going to make it a little bit harder in a tuck shape. So you've got to rock backwards and then sit back up again, uh, keeping yourself in a little ball. So try and hold onto your legs the whole time. Off you go. So try and keep your hands on your legs. Try not to use your elbows to push off the floor. And again. And again. Toes nice and pointed. Knees squeezed together. We're going to add our shoulder stand in now. So we're going to rock backwards to our shoulder stand. Hold it for five, four, three, two, one. And then your tuck shape at the end. Well done. Okay, so moving on. We're doing the same thing. We're going to rock backwards in our tuck shape, but this time we're going to stand up. So rock backwards and stand up. See if you can do this without putting your hands on the floor. So we're going to try again. Rock backwards and stand up. There we go. And we're going to make it harder now. See if you can hide your ears when you do it. So rock backwards. We want our ears hidden by our arms now. So Gemma did it, James was nearly there. So we'll try one more time, see if he can hide his ears. Rock backwards, ears hidden. Well done, James. Moving on to our next move, we're gonna have a go at doing a forward roll. So you can use uh, the bottom of the sofa, you can use any kind of uh, pillow that you've got to do this. It's on the top, roll over the top and try and stand up without using your hands. Okay, if that's easy, we can move it out of the way and try and do our forward roll flat on the floor. So make sure you've got a uh, nice soft carpet. If you haven't, you need to put a blanket down, a duvet cover, uh, well, a duvet, uh, a beach towel, anything you've got that's soft so that you won't hurt your head. So he's going to stretch up nice and tall, hands down on the floor in our tuck shape, tuck your head right onto your t-shirt and then roll over. And then we practice that standing up without our hands again. Gemma, do you want to have a go? You stretch up tall, hands on the floor, roll over, and stand up nice and tall. So you don't have to jump into it, just make sure you squat down, head underneath, and roll over. Go again, guys. So hands down, head right underneath, roll over the top, stand up tall. Stretch up tall. Hands down, head underneath, roll over, and stand up. Well done. And we can make that harder by hiding our ears when we stand up. So James will show us that one. So hands down, roll over, hide your ears. Good. Fantastic. Okay, moving on. Once we've mastered our forward roll and we can stand up without our hands, we're going to go back to the sofa or a chair, what you've, whatever you've been using. You're going to put your knees on the sofa, so hands on the floor, knees on the sofa, very carefully, we're going to tuck our head in and we're going to roll off of the sofa. We want to do this nice and carefully because we don't want to land on our head, especially on um, a carpet or on a duvet, okay? So hands on the floor, head tucked right underneath, roll over and stand up without using your hands. And again. So knees on the top, head tucked right underneath, roll over the top. And James hid his ears, which is the harder version. So finally, if you're a more advanced gymnast, an older gymnast, or if you've got help from your parent, uh, we can move on to our advanced move of the day, which is a handstand forward roll. So Gemma's going to show us a handstand. So kick all the way up. Her parent can hold on to her legs. And then she's going to tuck her chin right onto her T-shirt and slowly lower down into a forward roll. And we don't want to put our head, the top of our head on the floor, we want to put our back on the floor like our shoulder stand that we practiced earlier so as a parent you can help this kick into your handstand hand underneath the shoulder other hand on their legs and slowly help them lower down onto their upper back that's it and then we stand up so we'll do one more of those so we've got our hand underneath the shoulder and the other one on their legs and Gemma's going to tuck her head right underneath show us a nice shoulder stand hopefully. There we go. And then roll over the top and stand up. Well done. So that's the end of our rolling. Uh, you can follow us along to the stretch or you can pause the video now and practice all the things that you've just learned. So we've got our rocks, our tuck rocks, 
are rolling on the floor, are rolling off of the sofa. So moving on to our stretch, we're gonna focus on our tummy because we used our tummy a lot in our strength earlier. So you're gonna make yourself look like a mermaid or a seal. Look up to the sky as high as you can and try and push your shoulders back as far as you can. And then we're gonna put our armpits onto the floor, bottom sticking up in the air as high as you can. I'm gonna come back up into our mermaid shape and this time turn your head round to look at your feet at the back. Try and squeeze your feet together and then back with our armpits on the floor again, bottom in the air, knees in a tuck. And we come back up and we're gonna to look to the other side this time. That's it, try and keep your shoulders pushing, that's it. And then we're gonna go back into our armpits on the floor shape again one more time. And hold it there, armpits down as low as you can, five, four, three, two, one, well done. And then can you sit yourself in a straddle shape? So let's have nice pointed toes, squeeze your knees down to the floor as much as you can. I'm gonna reach over to one leg and try and get our nose to touch our leg. See if you can hold it there. Squeeze your knees down, Gemma, that's it. And reach over to the other side and nose down onto your other leg, hold it there. And then we're gonna reach into the middle. If you've got a partner, you can hold hands and gently pull each other as far to the middle as you can go. That's it. Try and get your belly button on the floor. That's your aim. But we want to do that with nice straight legs. Well done. And then legs together. And we're gonna finish our final stretch, which is our lumbar fold. So in your pike shape, slide your hands down and try and get your nose near your knees or touching your knees if you can. And to make it a little bit easier, we can make ourselves in a tuck shape. Hold the bottom of your feet and slowly slide your legs out as far as they go. If you can get them straight, that's fantastic. If you can't, just hold it as far as you can go. Five, four, three, two, one. Well done. And that concludes week one. Join us next week for week two, where we will be doing jumping and landing. Thank you very much.